In today's video, we're going to be comparing the Derwent Lightfast pencils and the Karen Darge Luminance pencils because this is what you guys voted for in a recent poll. So today I'm going to be putting the two head to head to see if one is better than the other or if they really are on par with each other. And if you haven't already, please make sure that you do subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on as well as follow me over on Instagram where I am really active on there. I also have a Patreon page where I upload real-time tutorials to every single month. So if you want to follow along with me and develop your art skills, then that is a great place to start. I upload tutorials every single month as well as critique videos where you have the chance to take part and have your work critiqued by me. And I also have some goodie boxes over there every single month for my patrons as well. So if you want to support me further, that is listed down below. But let's get on with today's video. So I wanted to compare both the pencil brands. I'm going to be talking about a few things and one of the first things I want to talk about is the build quality. So I've got both the Luminance and Derwent. I'm going to have them up side by side and the first thing that I would say is that both of them are really well made pencils. They are strong, they're sturdy and the first thing that I noticed is that the lead in the wood casings is centred. That is really important because if you have a lead that is not not centered in the wood case and then you can get a lot of issues with breakages something that we see quite a lot with prisma colors because the lead is off centered the other thing that i like about these pencils is that they both have a wood casing on the end of them now that is really important because if they don't and you accidentally drop them then the lead can shatter inside again this is something that prisma colors and some other colored pencils do not have and there can be frequent prob problems with their lead breakages breaking all the way up into the pencil and then you can have a lot of frequent breakages. Both pencils can also be sharpened to a fine point which is very important for me because I personally draw animals and animals has a lot of detail in them so you want to have sharp pencils for very detailed work. I also don't get a lot of breakages with these pencils at all which is something that I do with some other coloured pencils for example the Prismacolor pencils these are both really creamy really rich and they are very well made they don't crumble and I don't have any persistent problems with breakages either so let's test both of these pencil brands out with some techniques now so we're going to start with the luminance and I'm just starting with mixing and blending now I have tried to use some similar colors from both sets but I do only have a very small set of the Derwent Lightfast set so it was a little bit difficult trying to find pencils that were very similar in shades but I wanted to use similar colors because it is going to be much fairer for me to compare both and I'm just at the moment just testing both brands with mixing and blending colors and I like both of the pencils they both have a very creamy feel to them I would say that the Derwent pencils are a little bit more scratchy but I think that's because they are more oil based now let's move on to the burnishing. Now burnishing is very important when you're wanting to go in and apply a very heavy pressure and your final layers. Both pencils are really good at burnishing. The luminance I had a little bit of trouble with a bit of a, like a blotchy feel to them and I think it's because they are a little bit more waxy than the Derwent pencils. I didn't get as much wax bloom from the Derwent pencils as I did as the luminance but on the whole both of the pencils are really good for burnishing and applying those really thick and heavy layers. Okay, so now let's move on to the details. So details is very important, especially for someone like me who is doing a lot of detailed work. I wanna be able to have pencils that are going to be able to retain their point and provide very crisp and sharp details. And both pencils on the whole do fairly well. They struggle a little bit in some areas. I find that the polychromos pencils are a little bit better in terms of the details. And I do notice that with the luminance in particular, when the lead starts to get a little bit blunter the lines become more thick and fuzzy so it's a little bit harder to retain the sharp point and those crisp details i think i would give the edge to the derwent pencils in terms of the details but again i think that's because that they are more oil based whereas the luminance are more sort of mixed between oil and wax so you can see there what i mean about like the fuzziness to the lines 
So this is another little trick and technique that I use all the time. It's an embossing tool. I use this tool a lot to preserve details. What it does is it flattens the tooth of the paper so it preserves the white grain of the paper. And as you can see, as I actually go over this with the luminance pencil, the white um, embossing line shows through really well. That's very important for me because I want to make sure that it doesn't create like a coating over that white line and then muddies that line up. I really like to have crisp white lines showing through. And then next, moving on to the Derwent, the same thing really, there's nothing really in, as a difference between these pencils, I think they're very on par with each other. They both perform really well with this little test, which is very important to me because I do draw a lot of animals and I will often use this technique with the embossing tool to preserve fur details. So both of these pencils work really well, I wouldn't really give an edge to either of these pencils. <laughs> Okay, so now we're using the X-Acto knife now, and an X-Acto knife is similar to an embossing tool, but you're using a craft knife to lift up like the layers of coloured pencil. So for example, if you want to reveal some lighter tones underneath those dark, heavy shading areas, you can go in with an X-Acto knife and lift up those areas just by gently scratching away at the surface of the paper. So here you can see me putting this into practice. I'm just going with the Derwent pencil here. Just use a brown pencil and then I'm just going in with the exacto knife and just scratching away some layers and I feel that this technique works really well with the Derwent Lightfast pencils. You can see clearly see those scratch marks there and the layers are just lifting off really easily. Obviously if you're trying this technique please do be careful as well because the exacto knife can be very very sharp. So now we're going to be doing the exact same technique but with the luminance pencils. So I'm just literally shading like a swatch there and what I'm going to do in a second is the, exactly the same technique with the craft knife. So I'm just going to go in and just scratch away some of the surface of that coloured pencil. I'm just making sure that I have enough coloured pencil down just to make it a little bit easier to scratch away. Now again this works really well but I do find that the luminance is a little bit harder to actually get the layers off. I think it's because it's more wax based property than the Derwent so the lines aren't as sharp as what it is with the Derwent. I do also appreciate that I have got two different colours here so we might have actually had a better um, feel to this and a better look if I'd have used a dark brown as well but I do find on the whole the Derwent performs better. So now let's test out the white pencil. White pencils are very important for highlights and we do see with the Polychromos pencil that the white can be very translucent and you want to be having an opaque white pencil so that you can actually get some strong highlights through and the luminance is very very well known and recommended for white highlights because it is such a good pencil it's very opaque so therefore it creates very strong highlights as you can see here and I wasn't really I didn't really know what to expect from the Derwent I didn't actually expect it to perform as well as the luminance because the luminance is always recommended by artists and a lot of people really prefer this pencil pencil over others. So I'm just going and I'm creating like a really strong highlight. You can see how that white pencil has really come through. So now I'm testing the Derwent pencil. I have used a purple very similar to the Luminance just to be as fair as possible. Obviously the shade is not exactly the same but it is similar. And then I was actually pretty surprised with how well the white pencil performed. I didn't expect it to perform well because I am so used to using the Luminance but it did a really good job. And I think, do you know what? I think they're very much on par with each other. I wouldn't really give an edge to either one. Um, I think that they both created really strong highlights. Maybe just slightly with the luminance is a little bit more stronger in certain areas, but there's really nothing in between the two. 
So then let's test the black pencil again. Black pencils are very important for your shadows and your really intense um, colours in your drawing. So if you're really wanting to make an area pop. I'm testing both pencils. I'm just using the Derwent there and I think it provides a really strong colour and this is going to be great for like shadows and outlines and things like that. I would say compared to the luminance they're very similar I wouldn't really say one has got an edge over the other I think that they both perform really well as well so the black is very creamy with both pencils I still would say that my favorite black colored pencil is the polychromos because it is such an intense color I think between the two of these I think the Derwent is a little bit stronger than the luminance in terms of that richness and the darkness to the black so the luminance looks a little bit more on like a darker browny gray side whereas the Derwent I think is just it just has the edge slightly but there's really not much in it with the pencils it also I had to like go in with a harder pressure with the luminance to try and get it as dark as the Derwent pencil Okay, so now let's look at the cost and also the different sets that you have. So I typically get my pencils from Amazon, but you might want to look around and shop around as well because there can be some places that actually provide cheaper supplies than others but amazon is a really good one to go through it pretty much they pretty much ship anywhere anyway so it is good to go on to amazon and the great thing about the derwent like fast pencils is that you can buy the pencils open stock so as individual pencils or as sets as well and the smallest set i think is starts from a, a set of 12 pencils which is the amount that i actually have they are very expensive though so that is something that i did want to talk about the derwent light fast pencils are very expensive and that is mainly because of their light fast rating light fastness is very important because the higher light fast rating a pencil has the more it is going to last once um exposed to light so that is why the cost is so high on these pencils and also the luminance as well but if you don't want to spend a lot of money you can just buy a small set like what i did or individual pencils the same with the luminance you can buy them both open stock and a set as well i do find that the luminance pencils on amazon are a little bit more expensive than some other areas uh sorry some other places sorry um and one of the places that i actually get my luminance pencils from as individual pencils is from ken bromley art supplies it is one of the cheapest places that i've actually found luminance so you can see there the price of an individual luminance pencil is is only £3.14 here whereas on Amazon you'd be paying over £4 or $4 for one pencil. Again you can also buy them in cheaper sets so it does work out as more expensive to buy the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils in a smaller set than the Derwent but it's less expensive to buy the Caran d'Ache Luminance in bigger sets than the Derwent so it's sort of like the opposites there. Okay, so now let's move on to light fasteners, which is probably the most important thing about this. And I have got the light fast rating for both the Derwent and the Luminance. So this is actually Derwent and most all of the pencils are graded one or two which is really good because a one means that the pencils will last a hundred or years and a two is 50 or more years. And they're all of the pencils within this set is all light fast rating one or two so there's nothing lower which is brilliant and in total 62 pencils are in light fast rating one and 38 are a light fast rating two so that means that it's sort of 60 percent that are a light fast rating one and 40 percent are a light fast rating two so now let's move on to the Caran d'Ache Luminance. Again, we've got the light fast rating chart here. And again, with the Derwent, we have all of the pencils are at least a grade one or two on this scale. So that means that all of these pencils are going to last at least 50 or more years. And there are a lot of pencils which are going to last over 100 years. So again, in comparison, they're very much on par with each other. The Luminance Pencils only has 76 pencils, but 61 pencils out of this set are the highest light fast rating and only 15 pencils are an LF2 rating. 
So my final thoughts on both of these pencils is I think that they're both brilliant pencils and you'd be happy with either one and I'm sorry to sort of sit on the fence there. I think in terms of the light fast rating, which is what these pencils really pride themselves on, the edge does go to the luminance. So although there's only 76 pencils, whereas the Derwent is 100 pencils, the luminance pencils has a higher percentage of pencils that are a light fast rating one whereas the Derwent pencils has less of a percentage so that means that the luminance pencils more of those pencils are going to last a hundred or more years when those colors are exposed to natural light so that really is the only thing that I'm basing my opinion on in terms of why I've picked the luminance but I really hope that you did enjoy this video I hope that it was helpful and as always keep creating and I will see you soon bye guys